And we're back. And yet again, I hit the uh, tripod. <clears throat> Stage 14. A relatively flat, well, it's a hilly day. So we've got a large break out the front. Just went through the intermediate sprint. That's roughly midway through. They put in a sprint where points can be gathered. The points are for the green jersey. It's almost a uh, fait accompli, to use a little French, since we are, after all, painting the Tour de France, that this man, Peter Sagan, three-time world champion, will take this green jersey for the sixth time all the way to Paris. He currently has a very commanding lead in the competition. We just went through, and he took the sprint, but as I get to this next piece of the image, you'll see a French rider, Thomas, oh, what is Thomas, Boudat, who rides for Direct Energy, challenged him on the sprint where it was sort of assumed almost that everybody would just let him have it. Nobody else is even close. But Boudet, as you can see, has his arm around <clears throat> Sagan. Kind of saying, oh, come on, man. You know I had to try. <laughs> or something to that effect. But the thing you have to realize is that these riders spend an incredible amount of time. So they're doing five, six hours a day almost between the neutral start and getting set. So as a general rule, they all know each other or at least have an idea who they are. I mean, I'm sure there's people you never actually see, but as a rule, everybody is has a chance to meet and talk with and and I'm sure someone like Sagan just like there's a lot of us cyclists who are big fans of this racer I'm sure there are plenty of guys in the peloton that are big fans too and I would imagine amongst the sprinters like this young Frenchman you know you do want to meet him and I think you probably also want to try your legs against him So we're doing the line work, as always, using these uh, sort of felt tip pin versions of uh, India ink. I like these Faber Castells because they don't fade, at least I've seen no evidence of them fading. <clears throat> Of course, with watercolors and really any artwork, you should never expose it to direct sunlight anyway, but you know, direct sun will eventually fade anything, no matter how color fast and permanent it is. I will say that my experience. Uh, these watercolors are extremely color fast. Not only are they bright when you put them on, but they're bright years later. I've been using them for six years now. Alright, so that is the line work. And now we will shift to color. I know I say it a lot, but starting with the pale, light, palette. Now I did, one thing you have to be aware of, I noticed yesterday that my water was getting a bit dirty. And so if you have dirty water, it's safe to assume you're going to get dirty color. So the yellows were kind of moving towards a muted, ever so greenish tone. Which, you know, it's not what I wanted. So you do need to be aware of that and change your water somewhat frequently. 
You don't want to drink dirty water? Why would you want to paint with it? So, of course, this particular writer, Thomas Boudant, I have not heard of until just now. He is writing for the uh, Continental team, the not Pro Tour team, but Sagan once rode for one of those teams as well. Bar Barley World, I think it was. And then quickly moved over to Canada when I first saw him racing. <clears throat> then over to Tinkoff. Well, was, yeah, I think it was just as already Tinko Saxo. And then Tinkoff while he rode for them. And then that became Bora Hansgrove. It's sort of interesting to watch teams morph. Some riders ride for the same team, even though the name changes their whole careers. Others bounce around, either due to their ambitions or the team's ambitions in both directions. Either riders being shucked by a team because they change their goals, or conversely, Riders shuck teams because their goals are not being met. This year you have a couple of riders on different teams that used to ride for Sky because at Sky they realized they were never going to get a chance to follow their own ambitions. You know, if you ride for a team <clears> that's <throat> always going to want to make sure Sagan, or not Sagan, excuse me, Well, if you're a sprinter and you ride for on Sagan's team, you know you're never going to get free reign. The best you're going to be able to do is be his lead-out man, which, you know, no shame in that at all. But if you're a sprinter, it's because you like winning races. And if you're leading somebody out, <laughs> you're not going to be the one winning races. I mean, fairly obvious, right? So I tried to check something. Uh, so I noticed yesterday that I went really long, so I thought I'd run a stopwatch. That's what I was checking. See if I could uh, keep these videos just a little bit shorter. It's probably a bad idea. And then I just discovered the phone doesn't stay lit, so I can't see it. So Sagan is in the green jersey, clearly on track to take that all the way to Paris. It would be, the, it would tie the record with um, Zabel, Eric Zabel, who coincidentally his son, Rick Zabel, I hope I have those names right and not the other way around, um, is in the race. Riding for Trek Segafredo, I believe. Pretty sure. Not quite the sprinter his dad was, but a good sprinter, just the same. There have been a number of uh, guys, sons of former tour racers. One of the Americans in this race, Taylor Finney. Again, I think I have that right. Taylor Finney is a, um, his father, yeah, his father was Davis. Ah, shoot, can't remember, sorry folks. Um, but his father raced and actually was one of the uh, preeminent American racers in the 80s and 90s. One of the preeminent racers that weren't disgraced. Read between the lines there. So they've just raced through the town of, um, no shoot, I don't have it, but through town. So all the sprints are always in a town. One so you can get more fans lining the roads. 
So we're seeing a little bit of somebody's front garden behind the racers, behind these two. So I've said it before, but I will say it again. All of these works are for sale. And uh, they are original, clearly. But also I'm not making prints. There are no um, chance to buy another version of this image. This is the one and only. So if you're interested, I will be posting this. Might be a little tough today, but I should have it posted by 3 or 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time today. I do, you know, have to go in our house, we always call it making the donuts from an old ad. But I do have to go to work later today. Have to be at work at 4 o'clock. So if I can't get this done, post it and all that, it'll be quite late before I can get to it. So, but anyway, you can find them at my blog, theartofcycling.blogspot.com. There'll be a link straight through to my um, <clears throat> to my website, whether you can purchase the piece, nice secure shopping cart feature there. By the way, the website is theartofcycling.blogspot.com. And again, all of these paintings are done using these great watercolors. They're from Rich Sinart, and I'll put that link on there as well. <clears throat> Family-owned company. Clearly brilliant color. And the, uh, they are Yarka St. Petersburg's, and I'll put, like I said, I'll put their link up as well. Strongly recommend if you ever want to do watercolors to get these. And I've used other brands. You always hear of, and it's not wrong, but Windsor Newton as, you know, the preeminent artist supply brand. I used those originally and then <clears throat> discovered these because I have a relationship with them with a different media, the Shiva Paint Sticks. They sent me some of these to try and uh, I've been blown away. They're so superior to the uh, Windsor Newton brand. So, also if you go to my website you can discover the other work I do as well. So again the website, I don't think I said it, is gregleach.com and that's G-R-E-I-G, -E unusual spelling. L-E-A-C-H. I guess my parents knew that Google was coming and you'd be, blah, 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 blah. you would need to be able to find me. Wish that were true because they might have invested accordingly. <laughs> but it is true, you can find me pretty easily. Clearly, or hopefully, you have found this video searching my name. A little bit of the garden gate here. All right, that's today's piece. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I hope you will subscribe to the channel and I hope you'll check out all of my Tour de France paintings on the website.